characteristics of what we can agree to call the Menopea. One, as compared with the Socratic dialogue, the specific weight of the comic element is generally increased in the Menopea, although this vacillates significantly in the diverse variants of this flexible genre. Two, the Menopea is fully liberated from those limitations of history and memoir that were so characteristic of the Socratic dialogue, although externally the memoir form is sometimes preserved. It is free of legend and not fettered by any demands for an external verisimilitude to life. The Menopea is characterized by an extraordinary freedom of plot and philosophical invention. The fact that the leading heroes of the Menopea are historical and legendary figures presents no obstacle. Indeed, in all of world literature, we could not find a genre more free than the Menopea in its invention, its use of the fantastic. Three, the most important characteristic of the Menopea as a genre is the fact that its bold and unrestrained use of the fantastic and adventure is internally motivated. It is internally justified by, devoted to, a purely philosophical end. The creation of extraordinary situations for the provoking and testing of a philosophical idea. A discourse, a truth, embodied in the image of a wise man, the seeker of this truth. We emphasize that the fantastic here serves not for the positive embodiment of truth, but as a mode for searching after truth, provoking it, and most important, testing it.